Doing my masters. Yeah. Um, I remember one of the challenges when we're doing case studies between K Kenyan businesses and say African businesses vis-a-vis -vis the, the world class or the global business is that we are afraid to sell equity because yeah. we want to shield what is ours. And I remember one of our lecturers saying, you know, would you rather have a hundred percent of a cupcake yeah. or ten percent of, of a, a billion share? Yeah. And that's the thing. I was business. also like that in the sense that because um as well you had spoken about the Asian Indian community, mm -hmm. um the problem that I have found in this community, unfortunately I'm not talking, I'm I am one of them, mm. is that they um they want to screw you over a lot of times. Like really? it could happen it could happen in any community, but me mm. being from that community, I have had a lot of people saying, Oh, okay, so I want like eighty percent and I'll give you like one million and I'm mm. like, Are you crazy? But those are just capitalists. You yeah. can't you can't, you can't, you can't swap a player. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but <laughs> you, know? you see at the end of the day, so what with this guy what I did is we actually went half and half. Fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. He put in the capital, he's giving me advice. <coughs> he's as much as he's a silent partner, he's mm. not because he he's actually caring about the business as mm. opposed to just putting in money and waiting for it returns yeah. exactly Pay and throwing me. me to the book exactly you know okay. and you get a lot of people a lot of businessmen who are like that who just give you the money and then throw you to the bush and mm. you're like uh what do i do now and this is where a lot of businesses i think go down okay. because there's nobody to help you know it's like saying you had a thousand shillings you started a business I'm giving you six million shillings, continue the same business. But with six million shillings, the format must change. The format must change because now you need to say, okay, I'm allocating this much to machines, I'm allocating Human this much to exactly. You see, and this research. is where this is where he stopped me in a lot of places because I wanted to get like um gifts, like throw like giveaway gifts for my clients, for my loyal clients mm. and you know, stuff like that. And he's like, But you don't need that. Mm. You if know, they like your product, they'll, like come, your product, back. they'll come back. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And then so so we focused all of that onto like our packaging and onto you know more production. And now a lot of people like because we were only doing the dairy free chocolate. Now we're actually going into we've done white chocolate as well. Okay. And now we're venturing into milk chocolate, which is a Kenyan favorite. So hopefully that should go quite well. So yeah. Before I let you go, you yeah. have so much wisdom, Jazeera. Yeah. 32 years old. And I just want to congratulate Thank you on you. that. I just want you to speak to that young Kenyan, aspirational, ambitious young mind. Uh, just give him I one give statement. Them one statement. Um, my statement will be, don't be scared. You need to be scared of poverty. Be scared of being poor. That's actually where I am today. I am scared that I will not have that money in my pocket. And that's what's driving me to make that money. So I would say don't be scared of the opportunity. Be scared of being poor. Because no. the moment you encapture that being scared of being poor, you will never be poor again. <laughs> I don't know if that I'm makes nothing sense. Father to add. Be scared of being poor. Kusota <laughs> you hustle ya kuyendele.